the old school with the hubcaps. Got my black T ones and my skull caps. Stick 'em up, 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 stick 'em up. All right, YouTube, what is good and what is cracking? Welcome back to the channel. Shout out to all you guys watching. You guys are the shit, man. I love all you guys. Yesterday's video was sick. Honestly, I don't. I just thought half of that shit was funny. To be honest, it's just. Hella people out there literally admitting that they just don't even watch the video. They're just commenting because they just want to fucking comment without even watching the fucking video. To me, that is fucking hilarious, dude. But that was yesterday. Today is today. Of course, I'm sure you guys are here because you want to know what's dropping tomorrow for Supreme. And that would be week five. So... I will get into all that shit. There is a little collaboration this week, and that is with Mike Hill. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Mike Hill, he is the owner or co-owner of Alien Workshop, which is a skateboard company that was founded in the early 90s. He's just like a very core skateboarding dude, an artist, like he's an all around very creative dude. And plus Alien Workshop is very, very sick, a company that I wore and put on for a lot when I was a kid. Uh, I don't really wear too much Alien Workshop or fuck with them anymore, but as I said when I was a kid, that was my shit for sure, so shout out to my kill. We will get into those items. Um, and we will get into the lookbook items too because if you look in depth and go a little bit deeper this week is straight fucking fire dude straight up so first things first go follow me on instagram at Leroy destroy shout out to everybody who follows me on instagram we're always doing live videos and shit like that and fucking all that kind of shit so make sure you go follow it at Leroy destroy you can see my pretty face and you can join the live videos and be part of of the greatness that that is. So let's get into these Mike Hill items first. There is four different skateboards. I will put them on the screen right here. You got like this little rat and snake thing on this brick wall going on. And then it says Supreme on the mouse trap right there. And then it looks like you got this little fucking bunny and he's running a race right here, like a little marathon and he's dangling a carrot in front of his face. And his little fucking like tag for his name says Supreme on it. And then you got this frog sitting on this fucking mound of I don't know what the fuck. And then somebody eating ice cream off of his head. And then it says Supreme at the bottom. And then you got this fucking dude on this crumpled piece of paper with one arm as a pencil, one arm as an eraser, and then he's got a Supreme Box logo on. So wow, as you guys can see, this art is definitely different and pretty much out there. To me, I think it's sick, uh, but it definitely is some different and some weird shit for sure. So shout out to Mike Hill, that feels sick as fuck. And then you got those same graphics that are on the deck, you just got them on t-shirts. Here's like this square with the frog on it. Right here it comes in cream and I'm sure all these shirts will come in multiple colorways. Again, this one's my favorite. You got homeboy with the two different arms down here uh, on this fucking like tealish, bluish, grayish shirt right here. And then you got the bunny with the carrot on it. And then you got the fucking little graphic with the snake and mice right there. So that is all the shit for Mike Hill and Supreme. There is four different t-shirts, one long sleeve shirt, and four different decks. Dude, that's fucking crazy. So, shout out to Mike Hill. That collaboration is pretty sick. Let's move on and let's go to the lookbook items because there is a lot of them. And damn, these things are sick as fuck straight up. So, first things first, you got this little athletic half zip right here. It's like a bar logo half zip. This thing is hard as fuck. The colors are not really that sick, but look at this white one right here. Bam! You got Supreme down on your little fucking arm right there. And then it's just a half zip with like some color blocking. This shit is hard as fuck. The white one is dope and as well the black one is too. Those things are sick as fuck. The next item we got that's dropping is a checkered nylon hooded pullover. So this thing has Supreme screen printed all the way down the arm and then you got like a kangaroo pocket up on your chest area and then you just got this hooded like little windbreaker material shit and it is plaid. So moving on to the next item which is a very sick crew neck, tonal striped 
logo crew neck. So this has got like this lighter color and then you got the darker colors making up the letters and your ribbing and your cuffs. Like damn, this shit is hard as fuck. The black one is by far the best color in my personal opinion. And then the red one, it looks more like of a t-shirt material, but I don't know, we'll have to see. The next item right here is this pinstripe shortstop football top. So you got these pinstripes, some bl color blocking at the top, stripes on the sleeves, and then on the back of the shirt, it says Supreme Quite Large. I'm sure that is screen printed. And then you got a tag down on the corner of your shirt. Probably going to be 70 something dollars. And uh, I'm probably going to pass, but they do have four colorways of it right here. Gray, blue, pink, white, and then tan and navy. So damn. Then you got this glitter arc logo sweatshirt right here, which is sick. If the Supreme was bigger, I feel like it'd be way fucking sicker. It is kind of low key and subtle, which is tight. And there is glitter in all these letters right here. And they got six different colors. The orange one will probably go and the black one will probably go. Next is this stripe hooded crew neck right here. The hooded crew necks from last season were super fucking sick. I like them better than this year because honestly these colors are kind of weird. The black and white one is sick but it just says Supreme embroidered in the corner. And then these crew necks are very, very like well made and the material is very, very nice. And I love when they put hoods on these things. This is all around a dope ass item. Um, and it probably got some side pockets on it like the one last year did. But they got some pants dropping, which are these fucking cheetah print pants. Man, these things are so fucking hard depending on how these fit. I am going to cop these for my personal just to flex like once every six months in these things. But they do come in black, jean, purple, and these fucking cheetah print. And they have Supreme with a star on the back pocket. Man, these things are hard. And then you got these overlay six panels that are dropping, which I'm copping for sure. Either the black one or the green one. And it's just like this tonal fucking embroidery on this overlay writing on these six panel hatch which is sick as fuck you already know i love six panels i'm copping for sure next hat is this front panel zip camp hat i think this thing is hard as fuck the orange one is hard the tan one's hard camo red like bam all these are hard as fuck and they just got a front zipper on the front right here depending on how they fit i might keep one uh, but the camps just have not been fitting my head this year, so I will probably pass. Next item is this leather waist bag. It says it's cowhide leather, so I'm not sure how much these are going to be. They're probably going to be $160 or $170, but that desert camo is sick as fuck with the red box logo. And then you got black on black. These are like embroidered leather fucking pouches. And they got like this Supreme pouch all sewn in, embroidered on there. This thing is sick as fuck. You got a Kung Fu shirt dropping right here. It's like that Asian style like walk shirt. And then you got the fucking Japanese letters on your breast area. And then you got three pockets. Nothing too crazy. Definitely something different. Um, but honestly, these things are hard as fuck. You could probably rock this with a shirt underneath. You got a ribbed collar, short sleeve denim shirt this thing is sick if you look up close there's nothing really that crazy on it there is two breast pockets with the supreme tag and then bam on this fucking collar it's like ribbed and it's like a different material and then it says supreme going all the way around the collar in the navy and green color super fucking hard again i probably will not cop for my personal this piece right here i am so excited about i have not decided if i'm gonna cop this but holy shit dude look at this shop jacket dude all fucking cotton like work jacket and this is pinstripes and it has an embroidered box logo in the corner and look at all these colors dude pinstripe yellow brown blue pink navy and like this grayish shit imagine the pink or fucking blue one with the box logo in the corner just a sick ass work jacket to throw on god damn dude this shit is so fucking hard dude all right so then you got this leather MA1 bomber jacket. It's all leather. This thing's probably going to be expensive as shit. It's desert camo. It goes with the pouch and it goes with the hat that they dropped. Pretty sick piece. There's really no branding on it except on the inside tag. And then it has some pockets up on your sleeve. 
And then last for this week are these overalls or these jumpsuits that are dropping in four different colorways. One piece jumpsuit, pretty sick. Honestly, I would never wear this because I have no purpose of wearing this. Um, but they are sick with the checkers and I think the red one is sick as well. And then you got a micro stripe cardigan right here that's dropping in two colors, this weird ass colorway, and then black. So, as you guys can see, I'll put on the screen all the items that are dropping. If you look closely one by one, all these items are fire as fuck, dude. The half zip is hard. The checkered pullover is hard. The tonal hoodie is hard. The t-shirts are hard. The glitter hoodie is hard. The pants are hard. The hooded crew neck. The hats are hard. The work jacket. Like, all this shit and then all the my kill shit like man this week is super fucking sick i'm very excited for this week i know we're gonna cop a bunch of shit i haven't decided what i'm gonna keep i'm definitely going after like the work coat the work jacket the shop jacket the cheetah pants the the six panel hat and i don't fucking know man maybe that tonal crew neck bam all this shit is hard as fuck dude but definitely there will be a pickup video friday Fuck Saturday. I'm putting it out Friday this week uh, so you guys can see what I got. I hope this was informative and you guys know what is dropping. Again, I will put the entire drop list on the screen for a couple seconds so you can see everything at once. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Leroy Destroy. And as always, shout out to Drops by J. This is where I get this information. Drops by J. You are the motherfucking man, J. Prem. Shout out to yourself. Gas House representing all motherfucking day. And you already know, that is where I get this information of. So go follow the homeboy Drops by J. And follow me at Leroy Destroy while you're at it. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys know what's dropping. I hope you are informed. And my honest opinion about this entire week is that it's straight fire, dude. There is a lot of sick shit. There's a lot of sick items. You just got to dig deeper and go underneath the surface. You will find dope ass items throughout this entire drop. So shout out to all you guys Please subscribe if you are not subscribed anyway and the content will keep coming We are very close to 10,000 subs shout out to all you guys. I love you all follow me on Instagram We'll see you tomorrow on the pickup video. All right deuces out this bitch Stick them up, stick them up, stick them up, stick them up.